Yo, what's up everyone? This is Afix and welcome back to the channel and welcome to 2021. So in order to start creating our sensitivity and user setting system, we'll have to create a new project or you can use a project that you already have. Um, note that this system is really easily integratable. So go over to games and click next if you're creating a new project, otherwise just open up your own. I'm going to be making a third person project and I'm going to just call this YT Touch since I'm going to be filming a lot of tutorials in this project and I'm going to get a C++ project and everything else should be good so click on create project. So once your project has opened up you will be greeted with something similar to this or if you already created a game it'll be something completely different than this. All you need to know is that your camera is working correctly and it'll open up an instance of Visual Studio for you when you have created the project. So once that loads, we'll go over to source, YT Tuts, and I'm going to go over to the character. Now at first it's going to be a little bit cluttered because there's all this code that's just boilerplate code that comes with the template. Just ignore all of this, we'll create our own sections below. So over up at the top, I'm going to create a new structure. That's going to be a u-struct, let me rearrange my setup, alright, so it's going to be a u-struct and it'll be blueprint type, which means we'll be able to edit it in blueprints and I'm just going to call it struct f user settings and just create that with these brackets and I'm going to throw in a generated body which is necessary for a u-struct, u-class and things like that. So over here we're going to create some variables so i'm just going to mark this as u property in case you wanted to serialize your settings into json and save them locally which is very useful um, and i will call this float x sends for x sensitivity and i'll add another u property and make a float y sends for y sensitivity i'm just going to set these to a default of 0.6f and that is because i like to play with low sensitivity Oopsie. All right. So if we go and look at this setup player input component, we will see that they do. Oh, and I don't know where it just put me, but um, you can see that they bind these axes over here. So there is turn, and so it's add controller yaw input and add controller pitch input. So we will do a simple override of those two functions. So create a protected section below, protected, and let's create a virtual void add controller pitch input, and I believe it takes a float val, and we'll just overwrite that, and duplicate that, and just change the pitch to yaw. Now I will implement these two functions. Um, and I have visual assist, so I think I can hover over here. And it doesn't look like it's behaving at the moment since it has to parse all the files. So we'll just implement this by on, on our own. So let's go all the way at the bottom here. And let's add void. And it's going to be a yt touch character, double colon, add controller pitch input. And we'll add brackets there. And let's just copy this. And create the new line and over here let's just do add controller yaw input now what we want to do is call super so super add controller pitch input and instead of just throwing in val um, we'll do val times the user settings um, uh, the user settings float for sensitivity but first what we have to do is actually create a sensitivity or settings instance so what we'll do is in protected, we'll add view property and we'll just let this be edit defaults only so we can see how this works. And I'll call it F user settings, user settings. And it's not lighting up, but that's just because of IntelliSense or uh, syntax highlighting and file parsing. So we'll go over to the C++ file and we'll do val and we'll multiply that by user settings dot and since this is pitch, it'll be Y sensitivity. And we'll copy this and paste it over here. 
and this would be add controller yaw input and it'll be val times x sensitivity now this is finished for our user settings base so what we will do is right click on our project and click build all right so everything looks like it built it successfully so i'm going to go back into yt tuts and i'll open up this blueprint inherited character um, and i will edit it and you should see that there is a new variable on this right side over here user settings and uh, one thing I forgot to do is you have to go back to Visual Studio and mark these as edit defaults only. So edit defaults only. You can just copy that new property up here. And now that that is done, you can rebuild your project, but also make sure your Unreal Engine editor is closed. So right click and click build. Once that's done building, you can open up your project by going to where it's located. So let me find mine really quickly. And you open up where it is located and double click on this U project file. Now once that opens up, we will click on this character and open up its blueprint. And over here in the right side, so the details panel, you'll see it user settings and there's the x sensitivity and y sensitivity so now let's just set this to one so you will not notice a difference and go over to play and you'll see everything is normal now let's set this sensitivity down to something like 0.5 so we're having it on both axes and compile it and when you click play you'll realize that the sensitivity is less and to make it really evident i'm just going to set it to 0.1 and click compile and when you click play it'll be very very hard to turn your character now that is the start of the user settings class now we'll probably mess around with this some more so i'll, I'll probably make a tutorial on how to serialize it and save it with json and maybe how to add more things more user settings such as resolution and other things like that so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you found it helpful if you want to join the Discord community, feel free to. You can chill out or ask any questions. And I, once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.